Welcome to the global defense battle. The BrahMos missile is a joint venture between India and Russia, designed primarily for supersonic cruise operations. Its primary purpose is to target and destroy naval vessels and land-based threats with high precision. The missile serves a dual role as an anti-ship and land attack missile. It was inducted into the Indian Armed Forces in 2006 and has since been a vital part of India's defense strategy. On the other hand, the YJ-12 missile is an anti-ship cruise missile developed by China, aimed at engaging surface vessels with high precision. It was designed to strengthen China's maritime capabilities, providing a reliable solution for countering aircraft carriers and other large naval assets. The missile entered service with the Chinese military in the early 2010s and is known for its long range and speed. Unlike many of its counterparts, the YJ-12 can maneuver aggressively, making it a difficult target for enemy defenses. And today, we will compare both of these missile, India's BrahMos versus China's YJ-12. So, let's start. Talking about the design first, the BrahMos missile features a sleek cylindrical body optimized for aerodynamic stability during supersonic flight. It has a length of approximately 8.4 meters, a diameter of 0.6 meters, and a weight of around 3,000 kilograms. The missile is equipped with four fixed tail fins that provide stability and control in flight. Its body incorporates composite materials and stealth technology to reduce its radar cross-section, enhancing survivability against enemy defenses. The streamlined design supports high-speed performance and precise targeting capabilities. On the other hand, the YJ-12 missile has a relatively compact and angular design for its role as an anti-ship weapon. It measures around 7 meters in length and weighs between 2,000 and 2,500 kilograms. The missile features a narrow cylindrical body with four large mid-body wings and tail fins that ensure aerodynamic control and stability. Its design incorporates materials and shaping techniques that lower its radar cross-section, improving its ability to evade detection. The compact structure is well-suited for deployment from aircraft and naval vessels. Both designs reflect their strategic applications and operational requirements. Coming to the propulsion and performance, the BrahMos missile employs a two-stage propulsion system. The first stage consists of a solid propellant booster that accelerates the missile to supersonic speeds. Upon booster separation, the second stage, a liquid-fueled ramjet engine, sustains the missile's cruise at speeds up to Mach 3. The missile is capable of sea-skimming flight, maintaining altitudes as low as 3 to 10 meters above the sea surface to evade radar detection. Its cruising altitude can reach up to 15 kilometers. The operational range varies by platform, approximately 800 to 900 kilometers for ship and land-based launches, and 450 to 500 kilometers for air launch versions. On the other hand, the YJ-12 missile utilizes a liquid-fueled ramjet engine, enabling it to achieve speeds between Mach 2.5 and Mach 4, depending on flight altitude. In a low-altitude flight profile, it can maintain altitudes ranging from 50 to 500 meters, while in a high-altitude profile, it can reach up to 40 kilometers. The missile's range is over 200 kilometers in low-altitude flight, and between 400 to 500 kilometers in high-altitude flight. The YJ-12 is designed to perform evasive maneuvers during its terminal phase to enhance its ability to penetrate enemy defenses. Overall, both the BrahMos and YJ-12 missiles are equipped with advanced propulsion systems that enable high-speed, long-range engagements. Talking about the warhead and payload capacity, the BrahMos missile can carry a warhead weighing between 200 to 300 kilograms, it is capable of delivering both conventional and nuclear warheads. The conventional warheads can be high-explosive or semi-armor-piercing, designed to inflict significant damage on various targets. While the missile is nuclear-capable, specific details about the nuclear warhead yield are not publicly disclosed. The BrahMos is designed to carry a single warhead and does not have the capability to carry multiple warheads. The destruction radius depends on the warhead type and target characteristics, however, precise figures are not publicly available. On the other hand, the YJ-12 missile carries a warhead weighing between 205 to 500 kilograms. It is primarily equipped with conventional warheads, such as blast fragmentation or penetration types, tailored for anti-ship roles. There is no public information indicating that the YJ-12 is equipped with nuclear warheads. Similar to the BrahMos, the YJ-12 is designed to carry a single warhead and does not support multiple warheads. The destruction radius varies based on the warhead type and target, but specific measurements are not publicly available. Regarding guidance and accuracy, the BrahMos missile employs a sophisticated guidance system combining an inertial navigation system for mid-course guidance and active radar homing for terminal phase targeting. This integration enables the missile to achieve a high degree of accuracy, with a circular error probable of approximately 1 meter, indicating it can strike within 1 meter of its intended target. The missile is also capable of performing high maneuvers during flight, enhancing its ability to evade enemy defenses and accurately engage targets. On the other hand, 
The YJ-12 missile utilizes an inertial guidance system augmented by China's Beidou Navigation Satellite System for mid-course navigation, providing precise positioning data. In its terminal phase, the missile employs active radar homing to accurately lock onto and engage targets. This combination results in ACEP of approximately 5 to 7 meters, indicating it can strike within that range of its intended target. The YJ-12 is designed to perform evasive maneuvers during its terminal phase, enhancing its ability to penetrate enemy defenses and effectively engage moving or defended targets. Overall, both the missiles are equipped with advanced guidance systems. Though BrahMos achieves a higher accuracy compared to YJ-12, Coming to the launch platforms, the BrahMos missile is versatile and can be launched from various platforms, including land-based mobile launchers, naval ships, submarines, and aircraft. The land-based version utilizes mobile autonomous launchers, which are truck-mounted systems providing high mobility and rapid deployment capabilities. Naval variants are installed on warships, while the air-launch version is integrated with the Indian Air Force's Su-30M Ki fighter jets. The missile system is designed for quick reaction, with preparation and launch sequences completed in a matter of minutes, allowing for prompt responses to emerging threats. This flexibility ensures that the BrahMos can be effectively deployed in various combat scenarios, enhancing its strategic utility. On the other hand, the YJ-12 missile is primarily an air-launched supersonic anti-ship cruise missile deployed by the Chinese military. It is carried by long-range bombers such as the H-6 and strike fighters like the JH-7, enabling rapid deployment over extensive maritime areas. The air-launch nature of the YJ-12 allows for swift preparation and launch, as aircraft can be readied and dispatched promptly to engage targets. This capability provides the Chinese military with a flexible and responsive option for anti-ship operations, allowing for rapid concentration of firepower in contested regions. Both the missiles are designed for rapid deployment and quick response to threats. Regarding stealth feature, the BrahMos missile incorporates stealth technology to minimize its radar cross-section, making it more challenging for enemy radar systems to detect and track. Its design includes a reduced radar signature, enhancing its ability to penetrate defended airspace. Additionally, the missile's supersonic speed, reaching up to Mach 3, reduces the reaction time available to adversaries, further increasing its effectiveness. On the other hand, the YJ-12 missile is designed with stealth characteristics aimed at reducing its detectability. Its airframe is constructed using materials and shaping techniques that lower its radar cross-section, making it less visible to radar systems. The missile's high speed, capable of reaching up to Mach 4, combined with its ability to perform evasive maneuvers during flight, enhances its survivability against defensive measures. Overall, both the missiles incorporate stealth features to enhance their operational effectiveness. Coming to the cost, the BrahMos missile has seen significant investment in its development and production. The surface launch version of the missile is estimated to cost between $3.2 to $3.5 million per unit, while the air-launched variant is priced around $5.5 million per unit. The extended range surface launch version, known as BrahMos ER, is priced at approximately $5 million per unit. Maintenance costs for the BrahMos system include expenses for regular upkeep, training, and infrastructure development, which are necessary to support the missile system's operational readiness. On the other hand, the YJ-12 has an estimated production cost of approximately $1.5 million per unit, adjusted for inflation from earlier estimates. Specific figures regarding the development and maintenance costs of the YJ-12 are not publicly disclosed. However, it is understood that the Chinese military has invested substantially in the development and deployment of the YJ-12 to enhance its anti-ship capabilities. The BrahMos is actively deployed across multiple branches of India's military. The Indian Army operates at least five regiments of the BrahMos missile, with each regiment typically comprising 65 missiles, totaling approximately 325 missiles. The Indian Navy has also integrated the BrahMos system into its fleet, with a significant order placed in March 2023 for 200 additional missiles, valued at $2.5 billion. The Indian Air Force has equipped a squadron of 18 Su-30M Ki fighter jets with the air-launched variant of the BrahMos and plans to procure 200 more units. In terms of exports, India secured a $375 million contract with the Philippines in 2022 to supply three BrahMos anti-ship coastal missile batteries, marking the system's first international sale. Other nations, including those in Southeast Asia and the Gulf, have expressed interest in acquiring the BrahMos missile system. On the other hand, the YJ-12 missile is in active service with China's military, deployed across various platforms. The air-launched variant is carried by aircraft such as the H-6 bomber and potentially the J-16 fighter. The ship-launched version, known as YJ-12A, has been retrofitted onto older surface combatants, 
including the Project 956 E-Class and Type 051 B-Class destroyers. The Coastal Defense variant, YJ-12B, entered service around 2018 or 2019. Regarding exports, the CM-302 is the export model of the YJ-12 missile, and reports indicate that Pakistan has acquired this variant. However, specific numbers of YJ-12 missiles produced, in service, or exported have not been publicly disclosed. In summary, both the missiles are advanced cruise missile systems that showcase the technological prowess of India and China in modern warfare. This comparison highlights how both nations have tailored these systems to meet unique strategic needs, making them key players in their respective defense strategies. Which missile do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons, see you in the next video.